Let's learn the uses of the black screen. In a previous tutorial, we've discussed how to use the black screens as a text background, black curtain opening, and a somatic black bar. If you haven't watched that tutorial, we highly recommend you to check it out by clicking on the upper corner. In today's tutorial, we'll show you three more creative uses of black screens and how you can achieve them step by step. So now, let's get the video started. The black flicker effect can make a video feel more rhythmic. It can help us motive and emphasize the highlights. And this effect is easy to do. We just need to add some solid black images to a complete and continuous video. We can make all the black images with the same duration and keep the regular intervals. We can also adjust the intervals of the black images based on the video rhythms. For example, I want to make black flickers go slow to fast. Then I need to set the durations shorter and arrange them closer to each other. In our channel, we've made a detailed guide on how to create a black flickers effect. Simply click on the upper corner to watch the tutorial. The black screen is widely used as a transition in films. It can tell the relationship or transitions between the previous and the next scene. It can be used for implying the passage of time. Surely, suppose the combination of two clips in your video doesn't look smooth. Using a black screen as a transition is often a great option. In Video Proc Flagger, all we need to do is to open the transition panel, find a fade to black transition, and drag it to the timeline. We can also adjust its duration based on our need. The video now looks more engaging, isn't it? Let's firstly have a look at how we can turn this regular video into a naked eye 3D video. Actually, we just need to add an image with frames to the upper part of the regular video, blend them with a blend mode feature. Then we overlap it with a green screen video that shows the subject of our regular video. Key out the video background, we can get a desired effect. Let's come over to Video Proc Flagger. Let's create an image like this. Click on this icon. Go to Background, and here we're changing the color to white. Hit down to go back to the main interface. Drag the solid black images. If there aren't enough overlay tracks, simply click on the plus icon of the overlay track to add more overlay tracks. Last, let's select the Show Layout Rectangle icon and reposition and resize these black screens. After we get this effect, we can click on the camera icon in the upper corner of the preview window to save this snapshot for the current frame. Next, drag and drop the main video onto the video track then we drag the snapshot image to the media library. 
and add it to the top of the main video. Go to the inspector panel on the upper and find the blend mode section. Choose the darken blend mode. That can turn the regular video into this well-designed one. Next, import the green screen video. Drag it onto overlay track number one. Adjust its size until it overlaps the entire screen. After that, Let's find the chroma key section on the inspector panel. As the default green color is the same as our background, we don't need to add more adjustments. Select Enabled. We can remove the green background. Alright, that's all for today's tutorial. In our next tutorial, we are going to bring you more creative uses of black screens. Don't miss it. And be sure to click the subscribe button to subscribe. We'll see you in our next tips. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.